So we need to under start understanding how interest rates work. And when we extend that out, we start to understand the fallacies and some of the stuff that we're being told that's easy to sell. One of the things that we've been putting out there is the lie is easier to tell than the truth is to explain. Okay? The lie is always a one-liner. But to explain the truth, you have to give a whole paragraph or a whole page. So your job is in that education process is not as easy as it is for the lie to spread. So when, when somebody says something along the lines of, you're gonna pay more cumulative interest on a 15 year, on a 30 year mortgage than you are on a 15 year mortgage. That is absolute fact. But that does not mean that the 30 year mortgage cost more than the 15. Because if we understand the way, way rates work, and I can stretch that out, why in the world would I take, based on what we know here, 5% potential dollars to pay down deductible debt that maybe cost me at 3.5%? Three, Wouldn't I be better off having the debt at 3.5% while I'm earning 5% on the money instead? Yet people get caught up on the wrong thing. They make decisions out of scarcity, they see the amount of interest cumulative over time, and they lose the point of what's really happening to them. And so we've gotta keep that in focus and understand what's going on. Because of the size of debt, we literally, and I'm sure some of you do too, have clients that have fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 worth of 18% credit card debt that they're letting ride because they've got half a million dollars worth of debt on their house that's costing them a net 3%. And they're doubling up on the house payment and letting 18% debt ride because the difference between $500,000 of debt and $20,000 or $18,000 of debt or whatever the credit card debt is, they're missing the point. It's not the amount of money that's there, it's what it's costing them to finance it.